Hello, my name is Joel Grimes with the Small Wheeler Product Group based in Clayton, North Carolina. We're here today with the all new CAT K Series Small Wheelers, including the 924K, the 930K, as well as the 938K. We're going to share some operator tips with you so that you can get the most out of your new K Series Small Wheeler. The CAT K Series Small Wheeler feature an electronically controlled hydrostatic drivetrain allowing you, the operator, to have independent control of engine RPM through your right pedal control and ground speed through your left pedal control. Now, to run a high stat at its peak efficiency, you need to use both feet because as you penetrate the pile and you start to slip those wheels, you can adjust your ground speed down through your left pedal control but keep your engine RPMs high for good hydraulic horsepower. The electronically controlled hydrostatic drivetrain in the all-new CAT K-Series Small Wheelers gives us seamless torque and speed all the way to max runout, but it's still a four-speed range machine. We have set the max runout speed of each of our ranges to match the application needs. An example of that would be range two would be recommended for truck loading type operations. Range three would be recommended for load and carry type applications and range four is the correct speed range for roading. Now you can make those adjustments up and down the speed ranges in application as needed to match the application. The high stat controls in the K-Series small wheel loaders gives you infinite control of ground speed through the left pedal. Now that left pedal has got about 13 degrees of total travel to it. So you are managing the peak speed to zero with about 13 degrees of overall pedal travel. So in range two, you've got better control of the ground speed with left pedal than you do in range four. Now let's go ahead and put this in application. Let's do some roading starting in range two and we'll go ahead and we'll index up through those speed ranges. So in range two, at maximum RPM, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in gear and we're gonna go up to our max runout speed. As I shift to range three, we'll go up and hit our max runout speed in range three and then on into range four, we're on for roading. One of the concerns with hydrostatic drivetrains in fine pick and place type applications is that they've got aggressive high stat braking. We have solved that issue with our new CAT K series small wheel loaders in our electronically controlled high stat drive system. These machines have been designed to have a very smooth coast out, just like a conventional torque converter drive when you take your foot off the gas. Now let's put this in application and see how it works. Here I'm in range three. I'm gonna go ahead and put the machine in gear and go to max RPM. Once I achieve max runout speed, I'm simply gonna take my foot off the gas and the machine is gonna to come to a very smooth controlled stop. The new electronically controlled high stat in the CAT K series small wheelers is ideal for very fine pick and place type applications as the drivetrain system is an extremely smooth. The electronically controlled hydrostatic drivetrain in the CAT K series small wheel loaders gives us independent control of engine RPM with right pedal control and ground speed with left pedal control. Now let's put this in application. Here I am in a long load and carry environment. I've got the machine in range three. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into gear and go to max RPM and I'm gonna make my ground speed corrections with just my left pedal ground speed control. Maximum RPM in gear. Now that I'm close to run out speed, I'm gonna make a left pedal correction and I'm gonna bring the machine to a nice, smooth, controlled stop while running at maximum RPM. Independent control of engine RPM and ground speed is a differentiator for the CAT K-Series small wheelers. The electronically controlled hydrostatic drivetrain in the CAT K-Series small wheelers can easily make a directional shift at full RPM with no risk of damage. Let's go ahead and put this in application. I'm in range two and I'm gonna go to full RPM and I'm gonna do a few directional shifts. So here in forward, I'm gonna go straight to reverse at max RPM. The machine will come to a controlled stop, make the direction shift and then speed back up. Hard to forward, a controlled stop, and then back to forward. 
Operator tip for you, if you would like to smooth out that control, that directional shift, you can pause momentarily in the neutral position to smooth out your D cell and X cell. Let's put that in application. In forward, into neutral for a second, and then on into reverse. In reverse, going up to max speed, back to neutral for a second, let it coast to a stop, into forward, and off we are again. By pausing in neutral just for a few seconds between your directional shifts, it will smooth out that direction for a smoother ride. Now that we've been introduced to the electronically controlled high stat, let's put all of those features in practice with some simulated truck loadings. Here I'm going to put the machine in gear, range 2, and I'm going to approach the pile at maximum RPM. I'm going to drive up to get my max power and use my left pedal control to adjust my wheel slip. As I back away from the pile, at the back of my V, I'm going to use my left pedal to come to a full controlled stop and my max RPM so that I get good hydraulic speed. Dump into my truck, control my ground speed with left pedal and back and set for the next pass. And back into the pile as I approach the pile. Now at the back of the V, I'll use my left pedal to slow my ground speed, make my directional shift, and I'll approach the truck with high RPM so that I get good cycle speeds and adjust down to zero with my left pedal control. And I'm set for the next pass. The independent control of ground speed and engine RPM results in a fuel savings to you, reducing your operating cost. As you push on your left pedal to adjust your ground speed control, you are physically unloading the engine from that drivetrain request, which unloads that to create hydraulic horsepower or to simply burn less fuel. Value adding features like this make the CAT K-Series small wheel loaders a good choice for your application. As you can see, the all new CAT K-Series small wheel loaders have been designed for operators. We hope that you find these operator tips useful and help you get the most out of your K-Series small wheel loader. Looking forward to seeing one on your job site. Now let's go to work.